Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Today we're going to feature a compressor from Providence, Japan. This is a Suyoshi Khan uh, signature model. This is the Velvet Compressor from Providence VLC 1TK.
just passing through and you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe to this channel and press that bell for notification on future videos and be part of patreon to support this channel i would appreciate it thank you um compressors are very important like i've stated many times and um a good compressor is kind of hard to find because you have the run of the mill compressors that is available everywhere um this is from providence japan now these pedals are handmade in japan and they have quite a good reputation. This is a Shuyoshi Kon uh, signature model, henceforth the design. This is very different from the VLC one uh, that is from uh, Providence, you know. It just looks real pretty, you know. You can actually kind of comb your hair with the pedal. <laughs> Nice pedal, all right, it's real simple. You have an in and an out, a three bypass switch. You have the uh, nine volt uh, power supply here as well as a um, battery compartment. You gotta take up this everything, you know, on the back plate and you have a compartment for a nine volt battery. On the top, you have this real bright uh, purplish LCD, all right? And you have a uh, level, sustain and attack. So this is the attack, this is the level and sustain. This three knobs, real simple. Now the let's go for a level. So the level is uh, self-explanatory. Uh, you kind of like you know you you merge your compressor level, the pedal level with your uncompressed level, and then you have the attack, which is at the bottom. Now this will dictate how 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 fast you want your your peak attack to be. On the clockwise uh, position, that is the the maximum attack so it's like spot on as you go out to the middle and as you go on to the counterclockwise you're gonna have a little bit of a delay in your pick attack now the sustain is a mixture of both threshold and ratio so on the clockwise uh, position you're gonna have a whole lot of sustain um, and a whole lot of noise if your pickups are noisy but it gives you that singing quality and this is where uh, it really matters because a lot of compressors have this sustain but doesn't really work well. This, uh, I must say, is really, really uh, impressive because I can get like almost like the um, the compressor uh, that I really love, the Cali 76 stack from Origin. I can actually get it from this uh, uh, unit itself, you know, um, by just tweaking it towards like three o'clock. Yeah, almost, almost there. Um, not much, not a whole lot of control compared to the Cali 76 stack, but you, you can you can get that effect. And uh, if you kind of like put it on like nine o'clock, 
counterclockwise. You can uh, have this as an always-on compressor if you want to, but it's such a waste. This is such a lovely pedal um, to be, you know, utilized as an always-on. I would prefer that like, you you getting a, a normal pedal. Like I still prefer the new X uh, Matsumi uh, as an always-on compressor because it has a uh, a booster built in, and uh, that booster is so so useful. So this is a for me, this will be an effect by itself, like just like the Kalizer A6 stack. Um, I love the transparency of this uh, effect. A lot of uh, compressor pedals kind of tend to color the sound a little bit. This is great uh, for transient uh, representation of a compressor you know, from your guitar, whichever guitar you're using, a, a Strat, a Tally, Three three five, you know. Now, mind you, humbuckers do have that round, rounded sound, which sounds like compressed. But basically, you have two single coil in there, and uh, you're gonna have this output. And going through an amp, you're gonna have that kind of a squishy kind of effect without any without any compressors. This is really good for um, uh, strats, for tallies, you know or some other guitarist that has uh, kind of top high ends. Um, the Gretsch, yeah, that, that, will, that will do. This, this, this uh, pedal will be suited for them. Now, mind you, if you're using a tube amp, you're going to have natural tube compression, you know, and you are going to have uh, to decide whether how you want to utilize this pedal. Now, I would, um, if I were to gig in a, 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 a a concert or anywhere with a tube amp, I will still utilize it always on compressor just to get everything under control. And I will kick this in if I need to for that sweet 70s kind of nice clean solo sound. This is ideal. Just like the Cali Stack 76, you know, uh, same kind of idea of operation. So what do I think about this pedal? Now this pedal is as pretty as Miss Jeanette. Um, nice looking, you know, and it's got sustenance in it, you know, it, it, it sounds really nice. Uh, I'm kind of surprised. Well, I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how it sounds like, because like I said, it's kind of transparent, uh, and you, you'll find it hard to uh, find a compressor that doesn't color the sound drastically. This is one of those, right? Um, pedal costs a bit, so if you're interested in this pedal, you, and if you're in Singapore, you might want to head on to Davis Guitar. Now, this item has not been listed in the website as of now, but you can always call them up and uh, inquire from Miss Jeanette. And if you're not in Singapore, you might just want to email uh, Miss Jeanette and she will reply to the email. Again, I want to thank Miss Jeanette from Davis Guitar for passing me this pedal for review. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know what do you think about this pedal in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, Subscribe to this channel, press that bell for notification of future videos and be part of Patreons to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I thank all my Patreons for the wonderful love, support and friendship. Thank you guys. So in the meantime, you guys, please take care of yourself and um, I'll see you real, real soon. Take care. Ciao.